All right, good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. This video could be just the answer I have been looking for for you guys to find or get an affordable bi-directional scanner. Think Car sent me this Think Dag. It's bi-directional. You got to download the software. It is a subscription service, but I think um, this model I got, I believe, comes with free year. We're going to have to figure that out, but let's get this out of the box and have a look at it. So I've actually been pretty excited to try to find something like this because lots of people have been asking me about bi-directional scanners, but typically a bi-directional scanner is out of the price reach for your average DIYer. And this packaging is in there tight. I have to open up the other end and push it through. There we go booklet there it is first thing you gotta do is download the app enter in the serial number and activation code create an account and you'll be good to go all right so once it's activated so let's download it see what happens i think it uh i think i already have it installed Let's go under my devices. Yeah, my think dag is in there. All right, well, let's plug it in. Okay, I'm plugged in. I guess you can tell that lights up green. Make sure ignition is turned on. So as you can see, the Chrysler Jeep module came up to purchase. Now, it came with all software free for a year, and I'm going to show you how to get all that software. Basically, what you got to do is log out, log back in, and then all the software will download, which is really bizarre, but it works. So you can see right here, all the software is being downloaded now. That's pretty fast. About 90% of these I'll never ever use. Same with the maintenance functions before it had a price. Now I can download all the software. which is going to take a while to do. Can you just download them all? Yeah, you can just download them all. There, so doing it one by one, which would take forever and it's being painful. All right, this is the system set up right here. Let's go to all systems diagnostics. Connect the Bluetooth. Confirm to do a health report. PCM, TCM, ABS, and SRS, BCM, CCN, WCM, TPMS, tire pressure, HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling, AC, air conditioner, no fault code. Radio not equipped. AMP, amplifier, ESM, electronic shifter module, no fault code. All right, so now it shows us all our codes. We can just go in there. Uh, da, 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 da. Communicate. Read phone code. 
All right, so these are all related to the cruise control. I still think there's a problem with the clock spring because I put a new cruise control switch in. But uh, you clear the fault code. We can look at the module. Gives you the confirmation. If you want to read the data stream, you just select various targets, for example, and then you can go like that. And you can also set it up, as you can see in the bottom, to record. Now, actuation test. This is where the bi-directional controls come in that you can't do with a regular OBD scanner. Is that, for example, ASD relay control state. So if you want to test the actuator for the ASD relay, see if it works. I don't know if you can be able to pick up on the buzzing. Actually, I'll just get out of that and I'll turn that off. Back. I was playing around with this one last night, the fuel pump relay control. You can actually turn the fuel pump on. I could hear the fuel pump. I don't know if you guys can. And then turn it off. Uh, same with the radiator cooling fan. We could turn the fan on. ASD relay came on. Should be able to hear the fan. I just turned it off there's a whole bunch of different features same with your vacuum pump relay turn that on you can hear it now of course everything is going to be determined on what they're going to allow you to see. So let's go to the maintenance functions. Uh, it's not where I wanted to go, why is it doing that? Okay, let's open up this module. Not all these are gonna be compatible depending on what kind of vehicle you got. But we're just gonna see what everything, or just a few things can do. Loading, loading, loading. Yeah, I don't even know what type. I don't want to start playing around with the immobilizer just in case I accidentally erase all my keys. Because you never know what can happen. Tire pressure monitors, I know they're turned off for the winter mode because I don't have any tire pressure sensors inside. Let's just have a look what it says. You can program the tire sensors. Mine are actually turned off right now. Back to the main screen. I, I wish it quit saying that. I don't have a DPF. A lot of these functions won't work on mine. The oil reset probably will. Injector coating will not. 
let's go back to the um, all systems diagnostics go back in there it's got a rescan Let's go with system selection, power control module again. We want to go to special function. Now, there's a lot of things you right here want to look at. Intake phaser cleaning, exhaust phaser cleaning. Those are important, especially for the Jeep. Check your odometer, cam crank relearn, reset memory. Let's go into the ABS. Let's go into special function. See what they offer in there. Bleed brakes, initialize EPS sensor. Let's go into the body control module. Let's go into special function. Oh yeah, program tire size. There's a good one. Set up for metric. I already got the tires programmed, so I don't want to screw that up. Activate engine battery feed. Service. What does the service say? Oh, service light reset, battery reset. Why battery reset? What is it doing? What is it doing? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, injector coating. Let's go to adaptive front lighting system, see what we can see in there. Yeah, not supported, I didn't think it was. Not everything's going to be supported, of course. But there you see right there, there's um. This is a very affordable bi-directional scanner, which really this can do everything that my big scanner can for a fraction of the cost. Absolutely. I know a lot of people have been asking about a cheap bi-directional scanner, and this is really my first time playing around with it and seeing what it can all do. And I'm actually really happy with it, really happy with it. And even if your subscription runs out, you still have the basic OBD functions, which is the one I just clicked at the very bottom there, and it'll just load. As you can see, and it'll go through, and it'll tell you everything. And then you can read default codes. It's not going to tell you um, the codes that you will find with a bi-directional scanner, which is really helpful when you're trying to solve an issue, but your basic scanner cannot find. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this thing is pretty darn amazing for what I see right now at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll see you in the next one.